Hey guys, Martin D Shack Tech, and today I'll be reviewing the Mac application of Modern Combat Domination. It costs thirteen dollars in the Mac App Store. And with that, let's begin the review of Modern Combat Domination. Modern Combat Domination is a competitive first-person shooter with a mission-driven gameplay and an online multiplayer that is the soul of the game. You are able to play in sixteen player battles in six different modes, including capture the flag, extraction, deathmatch, and team deathmatch. There are five maps to choose from, offering some availability, but after a while you begin to want something different with the map um, options. The overall gameplay for Domination is good, nothing extraordinary or awesome, just good. Um, it has the normal keyboard and mouse configurations allowing for a good amount of control, but maybe not as much as you would see on a normal game console like the 360 or PS3. The graphics of the game are really smooth and great, explosions look realistic, and gunfire is really intense. The graphics are nothing to write home about, but they are still very constant and nothing to be unhappy with. Um, an annoying factor um, to the game is that every time you die, all the weapons and equipment that you bought previously in the game um, is lost, and you have to rebuy everything, making it difficult, not impossible, um, to gain access to better um, weapons. Um, I do realize this is part of the game, and it is what makes the game challenging, but it just tends to be annoying for me. Um, let me know what you think about this um, aspect of the game in the comments section down below if you've played a um, Modern Combat before. I would also have liked to see the ability to create classes, um, like in Modern Warfare. Um, the classes would also deal with the rebind of guns as talked about earlier, but what I was talking about were the add-ons such as type of warrior, gun categories, and attributes. Um, it would allow for a more in-depth control of your character and create more variability in opponents online. Along with no classes, there is also no campaign mode, which, which to a lot of people um, upset them. I can see why, because the game costs $13 and you, sh and you should be able to expect some storyline to the game other than just online arenas to play in. This is not a major factor to me, um, I was perfectly pleased with the online multiplayer, local area network, and single player, um, that was enough for me with Modern Combat. No campaign is a little downside, but it was okay for me. The last downside to this game is when you're in single player mode playing against a computer, um, there is no way to level up and the CPU to match that level leveling up either. Um, so basically, you may personally get better, but the computer never recognizes that and never gives you hard computer spawns. So you could be like, say, level 50 online, but you still have to play level 1 spawns in single player. And this means you're pretty much left with always consistently destroying the enemy with terribly uneven scores to a point where it's not even fun anymore to play against these level 1 spawns. It is even ruled out single player mode for me, and this can be really annoying for those who, do, who are not in constant connection with a Wi-Fi signal and rules out half of the game. Now for the good stuff, um, Modern Combat Domination is very addicting. Um, you can you can play it non-stop online for long periods of time and not get tired of it. Um, it is very fast paced with multiple game types, environments, variability, and amount of enemies and game duration. Um, because of this, this game rarely gets repetitive. I only wish for the inclusion of classes, CPU level ups in single player, and a campaign mode, which is why I rate Modern Combat Domination 4 out of 5 stars. If you're a fan of first person shooters and would like to try out a computer one, um, I would recommend this one for the Macintosh. That is pretty much it for this Mac app review of Modern Combat Domination. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Um, check my channel DShack Tech um, for more app reviews, OS and tutorials, and product reviews. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys next time. The premise of the game is very simple, um, just like every other hockey um, application out there. This game. The overall gameplay is great. Um, it took me a couple tries to get the hang of it. It has in size. The puzzle increases um, in difficulty as well. There are, major, there are more pairs of dots and more rest these cards by running or smashing into them. Um, you have this RAM option in the top right corner. What's that bar?